In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube pop-up subscribe button for your YouTube videos. So first of all, go over to iconfinder.com and over here, just go ahead and search for cursor. Go ahead and download this one. So you can download any of these if you like, but I'm going to be using this one for this video. The next one will be the bell icon. So go ahead and search for bell icon. And over here, you will find this one, which is the white one. And go ahead and download this one. And also go ahead and download this black one as well. So once you've downloaded all of them, just go ahead and import them in DaVinci Resolve. So I've already imported these icons. And I also have a picture. So you can go ahead and import a picture as well for your channel. So once you have all of that ready, go ahead and create a new fusion composition. Now let's double click this and here you can see we are in the composition. Now go ahead and create a background. I'm going to be using this background and connecting it with the merge node. So now we have a background. Now let's go ahead and add another background. But this time before connecting, I'm going to add this rectangle over here. And this will act as a mask. So connect this with your background. And go ahead and keep the width at 0 0.8. And the height at 0 0.3. And now change the corner radius to 1. Also go into the background and change the color to white. So once you have that, just go ahead and connect it with this merge. And here you can see we have a background for our pop-up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our picture, the profile picture or the channel picture that you have. So you can go ahead and download any other picture that you want. So I'm going to be using my profile picture. You can go ahead and use yours or you can go ahead and download any other picture that you want. So let's go ahead and connect this. I'm going to reduce the size to 0 0.5 and place this right here. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag another background over here and I'm going to once again add a rectangle. This time I'm going to keep the width at 0 0.4 and the height at 0 0.15. And once again, the corner radius will be at one. So now let's place this right here and connect it with our merge. So here you can see we have a button that resembles the YouTube button. And now we can go ahead and add the text for this button, which will be subscribed. So change the font to this one. Make this at regular. And also go ahead and change the size to 0 0.05. Make sure that this is in the center. Okay, so now we are going to add the bell icon that we downloaded. So this is the one. Let's connect this. And let's go ahead and change the size to 0 0.3. Drag this right here. So decrease this to 0 0.2 so that this fits. Okay, so this looks nice. But before we go ahead and animate this, let's also drag the black one the black bell icon and also connect this right here. Change this to 0 0.2 as well. And make sure that this is also on the same position as our white one. Okay, so we have our pop-up done, but now let's go ahead and animate this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this rectangle and I'm going to go over at 10 and let's create a keyframe over here in the center. And at zero, I'm going to move this out of our screen. So make sure that this is out of the screen. And once we play this, you'll see that this will zoom. This will pop up from the bottom. 
like this. Okay, so now let's go into spline and let's select our keyframes and press S on the keyboard. So this is how it's going to look like now. Okay, so once it pops in from the bottom, we are going to drag this image from the side. So for that, let's go over at 20 and now let's drag this ellipse tool over here and connect it with our picture. And you can see this already masks the picture. Go over to ellipse and then right click in the width and select expression. Now let's connect this to the height. And now you can see we have this working together. So this is the position that I want this to be in, 0. Point, sorry, 1.3. Make sure that the width and the height is at 1.3. And at 20, go ahead and create a keyframe in the center and go back at 10 and move this to the left. You can see we have the image animating as well. So let's go back into spline and select the ellipse and let's hit S on our keyboard so that this eases in. So this is looking much better. Now let's go ahead and animate this button as well. So go over at 25. Select this merge 4, click on blend, then go back at 15, and then set the blend to 0. So you'll see that the subscribe button also fades in, and we'll do the same thing for this icon as well. So right now we have this black icon. I'm going to keep this at 0 so that we see the white one. And once we have the white one, let's go ahead and create a keyframe at 30. And at 20, let's go ahead and set this blend to zero. So now if we play this, you'll see that everything is fading in. But you'll see that this subscribe button, we need to hide this as well. So let's go over at 20 or let's go over at 25, select our text, the merge five that is connected with our text, create a keyframe at blend, and then at 20, go ahead and change this to zero. So now if we play this, you can see this looks much better. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add our cursor. So I'm going to drag this in, connect it with the merge seven. And here you can see we have this cursor. So I'm going to go over at 45 and I'm going to create a keyframe in the merge of that cursor at center. Now let's go over at 30 and drag this outside the screen. And if you play this, you'll see that this is moving in. And now we will press the button. We will create an effect that shows that we are pressing the button. So in order to do that, go ahead at 45 and just slightly ahead of 45, create a keyframe at size. Then over here, set the keyframe at 0 0.8. And then here, set it back to 1. So now if you play this, you'll see that it gives us a click effect. Like this. Okay, so once we have this click effect, you'll see that this is where it is clicking. What we can do is we can change the color of that button once it is being pressed. So let's go over to this background of our button. Hit a key, create a keyframe, add color, and then add where our cursor is being clicked. Go ahead and change this color to gray, like this. So let's play this. And here you can see. It seems like we are pressing the button and it is changing the color. 
So I just moved this keyframe a little bit backwards so that this looks like it is being changed as soon as our cursor is being pressed. So this will give you a better effect like this. Okay, so once we press the cursor and it changes the color, let's also go ahead and press the bell icon. So let's go ahead at 60. And in our cursor, go ahead and create a keyframe at center. Then at 70, go ahead and move this right here. So once we are over here, just like we did with the button, go ahead and create a keyframe at size. Move this over here. Set this to 0 0.8. Then go a bit forward. Then set it back to 1. Now if you play this as well, so here you can see it is also giving a press effect or a click effect. So as soon as this also presses, now what we are going to do is go over at this black icon that we had, set the blend keyframe at zero, and then as soon as it hits the button, go ahead and change this to one. So now if we play this, You'll see that this changes the color of the bell icon as soon as we press it. So here you can see, let's go ahead and play this once again. So this is looking much better. So now that we have pressed the bell icon, let's move the cursor out of the screen. So at 90 let's go ahead and create a keyframe add this cursor and then at 100 i'm going to move this out of the screen so here you can see we just created a pop-up subscribe notification for our youtube videos so this was it for this video i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next one